and welcome back to Finet. In today's video, we'll discuss the modernization of South Africa's value-added tax VAT administrative framework in an easy-to-understand language. Stick around to learn how these changes might affect businesses and taxpayers. The main goal of the SARS discussion document is to shed light on the modernization of South Africa's VAT administrative framework. This modernization will have an impact on businesses registered for VAT. The aim is to make the VAT system more agile and easier for both taxpayers and tax authorities by introducing real-time data transmission. Value added tax or VAT was introduced in South Africa back in 1991. Its primary purpose is to continuously generate revenue for the government. VAT is a self-assessment tax, meaning that taxpayers are responsible for accurately reporting their VAT liabilities. Proper record keeping and documentation are vital for the VAT system to function effectively. Tax invoices play a crucial role in this process as they serve as source documents for VAT deductions and provide an audit trail to ensure compliance. However, despite VAT being a significant contributor to government revenue, its modernization efforts have lagged behind other tax systems. This delay has led to revenue losses and prolonged audit processes. South African Revenue Service SARS envisions a smarter and more efficient system. They aim to achieve voluntary tax compliance by ensuring that everyone understands their tax obligations, compliance is easy and cost effective, and there is credible consequences for non-compliance. The modernization of the VAT system involves several key objectives including providing clarity and ease of compliance for taxpayers, detecting non-compliance, and building a robust workforce and infrastructure. To achieve these goals, SARS plans to transition to real-time VAT data transmission. This means that VAT data will be sent digitally to SARS almost instantly, improving visibility across the entire supply chain. The modernized VAT return is expected to offer more detailed and real-time information, making it easier for taxpayers to report their VAT obligations accurately. This modernization will align with accounting principles, improving data management, analysis, and reconciliation. SARS acknowledges that the transition to this modern VAT system will be gradual, it will begin with large vendors who already use technology-based accounting systems for VAT reporting. Smaller businesses will be given ample time, awareness and education to adapt to the changes. While there will be initial costs for businesses to adjust their accounting systems, the long-term benefits include reduced errors, faster VAT refunds and simplified tax compliance. The modernization of South Africa's VAT system aims to do the following. Number one, speed up VAT refunds. Number two, reduce inaccurate VAT returns. Three, making updating taxpayer information much simpler. Decrease the need for manual verification and audits. Free up resources for more targeted verifications. And lastly, simplify VAT calculations for taxpayers. To implement these changes, legislative amendments will be necessary. These amendments will outline mandatory requirements for the modern VAT return, identify the categories of vendors subject to digital data transmission, and introduce penalties for non-compliance. SARS is actively seeking input from all stakeholders, including businesses, software developers, and the public. Your contributions and comments are essential as part of the consultation process. Please feel free to email your feedback to policycomments at sars.gov.za by the 31st of October 2023. 
The modernization of South Africa's VAT system aims to streamline and simplify VAT processes for everyone involved. We hope this video has provided you with a clear understanding of the changes highlighted in the SARS discussion paper. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more updates on tax and finance related topics. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.